Hey, what's up everybody? So in today's tutorial, I just quickly wanna go about a topic that has been going on in my mind for quite a while now, and that is the Promist filter effect inside of DaVinci Resolve's color page. And if you don't know what a Promist filter is, it's basically just like any other filter that screws onto your camera lens, just like NDs or polarizers. But the effect it gives you is it just makes your highlights a lot more soft and the image in general a lot more dreamy. So if that's an effect you are going for, stick to this video because I'm gonna reveal the secret on how to get this effect. But first, why not just use a regular Promist filter on your camera? There are a couple of disadvantages when shooting with a Promist filter. First of all, the effect is baked into your footage and no matter what you're going to do, you won't get rid of it in post. Secondly, these filters are very pricey. We're talking about $200 plus per filter for a quality one. So let's just hop into DaVinci Resolve and show you how you can get this effect. So guys, as you can see, we're straight in Resolve's color page and I got my clip that I wanna use this effect on right here, which is from my newest project that I'm working on right now. And as you can see, I got a lot applied to this clip. So let me deactivate this. This was the shot before and this is what the LUT applied. Now let's make this shot a lot more dreamy and I'm gonna give you two different ways on how to achieve this effect. The first one is my personal favorite and the second one is a similar method that works as well. So you get a variety of ways to see which way fits you best. Now the first step that we wanna do is go to this first node, hit Alt and S to create a serial node and with the serial node selected, hit Alt and L to create a layer node and a layer mixer. Now go to this node number three, then go to open effects and then go to Gaussian blur and just drag this on node number three. With this node three selected, let's go to the Gaussian blur settings and drag down the horizontal strength all the way. By default, vertical strength goes up with it. Now, then you can go to advanced controls and change the border type if you want, you don't have to. Sometimes you got black borders around this. So let's just change this to replicate and this should look perfectly fine. Now with this node three selected, let's go down to your primaries to where it says saturation and drag this down all the way so your image becomes black and white. Then the next step is go to your layer mixer right click on this, go to composite mode and change this to screen. And immediately you'll see your image becomes very blurry and very dreamy. And this is my personal favorite way to create this effect because I have a lot of customization on how this shine and blurry thing is affecting my highlights and my shadows. So let's go to your curves and then just select the swipe part and just drag down this upper handle just a bit. Let me exaggerate things so you can see this clearly. And I can change how it's affecting my highlights. So when I grab this handle right here and drag this down, it becomes a lot less noticeable. Same affects the shadows. If I drag this up, it becomes way more blurry. And if I drag this down, it becomes way less blurry and way less shiny in my shadows. Same as if I grab this handle right here and just drag it down. And once you've done that, you should be good to go. Just rewatch your clip. And this is looking pretty good to me. All right, so now let's just delete all of those nodes and show you the second way on how to create this effect. You got only your basic node where you've done your color correction and whatnot. Then hit Alt and S to create a serial node and then go to open effects and then search for glow. Now drag this glow effect onto this node two and change the select output from glowing image to glow alone. Now you can play around with the shine threshold and also the spread to make it really blurry. Just like that should be good. Now go back to select output and change this from glow alone back to glowing image. And right now you see this is kind of rough and pretty bad looking. So let's go back to the glowing settings, go to where it says composite type and change this from add to screen. Now it becomes a lot less noticeable. Now you can customize this even further if you just change now the shine threshold, just like that and also the spread. So this should look pretty good right now. 
And once you've done that, you can go to this node and go to the curves and also further customize this. Make it a little bit darker, just like that should be good. And these are my two very simple ways to create a promised filter effect inside of DaVinci Resolve in just a matter of minutes. So guys, that is all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe if you haven't already to help this video spread out to more people that are interested in that specific topic. So that's all I gotta say. Hope you all have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.